Hello, my name is Mike, and I want to ask you, how's your life going? Is your life humdrum? Is your life monotonous, just doing the same things over and over again? You know, you wake up, you go to work, you come home, you eat, you watch TV, and then you go to bed to start the monotony all over again? Do you try to break out of the monotony? by going to parties, going to the bar, going out on a date. But at the end of the night, do you feel guilty, dissatisfied? Do you feel unfulfilled? Is your life tedious? Are you trapped in some kind of bad habit? Are you anxious? Are you fearful of what the future may hold? Or are you in the middle of the rat race? You know you're running here, you're running there, knowing that ultimately you'll be running for the next 40, 50, 60 years. Have you ever really gotten honest with yourself and asked the question, is this all there is to life? Do you feel like, like there's something missing in your life? If you had to describe your life, would you say that your life is full and meaningful? truly meaningful? When Jesus was on this earth, he said, the thief, Satan, does not come except for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. For those of you who may not know, that statement is written in the Bible in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. You know, a lot of people have the misconception that when you become a Christian, from that point on, you're simply down here enduring life, putting up with the way things are, just waiting to die so that you can get to heaven to start living the good life. That's a misconception. Now, to be sure, if you are a Christian, there will be days when you have to endure things. But that whole way of thinking is a misconception because Jesus did not come here to simply save us. He came to give us an abundant life. An abundant life. What's that? Well, the word abundant here means something above the ordinary. To be abundantly furnished. To provide a person richly so that he or she has an abundance abounding in things such as spiritual benefits and or material blessings. Fully enough, overflowing fullness, exceeding more than you can ask or imagine, a quantity so much more than what we could ever expect or anticipate. In other words, Jesus came to give us a life of plenty, not necessarily plenty in the sense of things, although this may happen, but a life of plenty in the sense that he came to give us a superior life, a better life, a full and meaningful life. Almost everyone knows that Jesus came to save us, but very few people realize that he also came to give us a full and meaningful life right here on earth. Jesus Christ came to give us a life of inner peace, real contentment and joy, material blessings and true fulfillment. He came to lift our burdens and solve our problems. And most importantly, he came so that we might experience a personal relationship with God. But I want you to notice what Jesus said at the beginning of John 10, 10. He said the thief, that is, Satan does not come except for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Do you feel like some relationship has been stolen from you? That some opportunity has been snatched away from you? That your health or some part of your life has been destroyed because of the wrong choices you've made in life? You know, some people today don't even believe that Satan exists. They think that a belief in the devil, a belief in a literal being known as Satan, is nonsense. 
you know the Bible talks about that too. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible says, The God of this world, again in this verse, that's Satan. The God of this world, Satan, has blinded the minds of them which do not believe. Do you want to know what the greatest thief in the world has done? He's made people think he doesn't exist. Do you know why? Because if you don't believe he exists, then you won't have any idea that he's coming to steal from you, to destroy you, and to kill you. For if he doesn't exist, then there's nothing to fear. And there are no real consequences to the choices that you make in life. But Satan is a thief. In today's language, we would say that he's a schemer. He's a scam artist, and he takes things that are in your life by stealth. You don't even realize they're missing until you start looking for them, and then you realize it's been taken. I'm serious. The devil will lead you down the wrong road, all the while making you think that it's the right road. And when you get to the end of that road, you realize that great job opportunity was stolen. My health has been stolen. My relationship with my friends, my kids, my spouse has been stolen. You know, I could have had this or I could have done that, but because of the wrong choices I've made, I'm left with nothing, nothing meaningful. My life is ruined. My life has been destroyed. You know, a lot of people get to this point in their life and they think, I've made a mess of my life. There's nothing else for me to live for. And they think about that, and they think about it so much that they kill themselves, they commit suicide. Well, guess who put that thought in their head? Satan. Because he comes as a thief, not only to steal and destroy, but to kill. But it doesn't have to be that way. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Well, how can you have an abundant life? First, you must acknowledge that something is wrong, that Satan is real. Second, you must realize that you are a sinner, that you have done wrong. Third, you must realize that you can't save yourself. There's nothing that you can do. There are not enough good works that you can do to save yourself. The only way that you can be saved is by believing in and receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior by faith. For then and only then will you be able to experience an abundant life. And remember, Jesus wants you to have an abundant life. That's one of the reasons why he came. In order that you might be able to experience an abundant life, a full and meaningful and exciting life filled with blessings from God. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Psalm 84, 11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. In other words, God will not only give you everything, in other words, God will not only supply everything that you need in life, he will also give you many, if not most, of the things you want in life. Did you hear what the writer, what the psalmist said? God will not withhold any good thing from him or her that walks uprightly. That's a promise from God. So how do you do it? How do you receive Jesus Christ in order that you might begin to experience an abundant life? Well. You can receive Jesus Christ right now by praying and asking him to come into your life. So if you want to be saved in order to experience an abundant life, not only in heaven, 
but also right here on earth. Pray this prayer with me. Come on, bow with me and pray these words. Lord Jesus, I need you. I know that I have sinned. I do believe that the Father sent you to shed your blood for me, to die on the cross in my place and pay the penalty for all my sins. So right now, I repent of my sins and ask you to forgive my sins. And I open the door of my heart and my life and receive you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for forgiving my sins and for coming into my life. And thank you for giving me eternal life. Now take my life and direct me and make me the type of person you want me to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, if you prayed with me, I want you to contact us. I want you to contact us because there are some things we want to share with you to help you to begin to grow spiritually. Remember, Satan is a thief, and in the next few hours and days and weeks, he's going to lie to you and attempt to steal from you everything that God has planned for you now. So please contact us. We sincerely want to help you. Our phone number is 913-299-9955. Also, we want to invite you to come visit us and spend some time fellowshipping with us. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, the Bible encourages us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Maybe you're already saved and you're simply in need of a church home. Maybe you realize for the first time that it's time to get off the fence, that it's time for you to begin to nurture and develop your spiritual growth as a Christian. Perhaps you were once in fellowship with God, but now you've drifted away. Maybe like the prodigal son, you're ready to come home to God. Whatever the case, we'd love to have you come and become a member of Philadelphia Bible Church. Come and join us this Sunday. We are located at 8170 Parallel Parkway in Kansas City, Kansas, and our Sunday morning services begin at 1030. Come, join us, fellowship with us, and truly begin to grow as a Christian so that you can begin to experience the abundant life that Jesus Christ has for you.